back with another ROM review and finally we have another update for Evolution X 7.7 and really thanks to Nubis uh, correct me if I am pronouncing the wrong word so let's get it started with full review you guys should use this room or not I will talk about every single details in that video so watch till the end without skipping first of all let me show you from the settings and definitely this is the smoother one um, because we have earlier one which was a bit higher and heavier so that's why uh, I can just say this one is really lighter than the earlier one so this is up to you guys and we have here the launcher which is used from the pixel launcher by default and uh, this is a complaint from evolution x uh, in this March update we have uh, included here the um, pixel launcher that's why user ui a bit launcher is a bit uh, slower and here is the about section and of course we have the an android version 13 evolution x version 7.7 .7, which is a lechon on client unofficial version android security update which is very latest from march and currently used here since per plus and Linux status which is enforcing now as usual Linux OS always comes with gapps build you guys don't need to worry about any gapps just download and flash and we here we have the settings as usual system languages and input gesture can be customizable and here we have the system navigation as usual here you guys can change the pill length just like this you can make it bigger and smaller according to your choice then we have the 100 more double tap to pass notification and other things are really working i checked everything here and let me show you from developer options the use memory which is 2.6 and previously was 2.4 when the storage was empty now i installed so many applications now we have 2.6 gb up 2.9 gb uh, all evolution x always a bit heavier and very interesting thing is here we have the storage section let me show you that only 1.1 gigabyte system is taking here so that's why system is fluent right now then of course we have the latest uh, system everything here like security fingerprint just select fingerprint twice we have the fingerprint and face unlock as usual now let me show you the, the evolver which is the customization hub we have the themes the status bar as usual dark theme uh, lock screen clock format and icon pack everything you guys already know about that things because these are really old we have this customization in almost all cust all custom roms so here we have a status bar as usual traffic indicator which is perfectly working battery indicator everything is fine here and we have notification then reticker perfectly working and kill app button can be added then blink flashlight for notification can be enabled and quick settings secure qs style sticker unlocking okay that's cool feature and then we have the uh, top position which brightness slider i always like in bottom and animation style can be select animation duration linear animation interpolar then we have the data users if you want to enable that feature of course you can do and power menu as usual then we have the last let me show you here we have the animation just charging animation screen of animation and power menu animation can be customized here customer power menu usb we have so many transcurrent and other things just like this 3d fly slide power menu animation this is this one is power menu animation okay let me show you that you will get the animation like this then we have the miscellaneous of course we have the game space and smart pixels unlimited google photos storage and unlocking high fps in games by default we have that feature now let's talk about the main feature main thing and by default we have the pixel launcher and the user interface is like this home settings pixel launcher so we don't have extra customization as it is the smoothness from the app drawer is mind-blowing but uh, sometimes you will face lag in ui when you just uh when opening and closing the applications and when you have so many notifications 
uh, at a time and you want to open your QS panel and it will do a bit lag so Evolution, if you have 2 GB RAM on your device then don't use Evolution X never and if you have 3 GB of course you can try this out and the basic things like Gcam is working or not of course Gcam is perfectly working and I tried it and I captured photos and it's working sometimes you can face a bit uh, freezing issues but it will be okay just clear the recent and open the camera again then it, your problem will be solved then we have the yes mark let me show you that thing which is safety net pass checker by default safety net is passed so no issues with that uh, it's showing fail because i already installed the magisk and i didn't use any module yet now that's why it's showing like this by default safety net is passed no issue with that i already checked and by default we have so many applications here but you guys can uninstall everything translate wallet and podcast papers news and we have the keep notes home google google everything can be installed so hope you guys understand the video and if you like my work then do subscribe and hit the bell icon so thank you for watching